everyone. Um, welcome back. My name is Regina. I am from Noka Oi Toastmasters in Maui, Hawaii. And if you are new to these videos, uh, this is one of the videos from Zoom Talk video series where we talk to members of our club about Zoom experience, pros, cons, what we like, not, what we think about Zoom experience. And uh, today we're talking to Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Regina. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, glad to have you here. Glad to talk to you. <laughs> glad to be here. I'm doing good. And it's a beautiful day on the upcountry Maui. Now let's get straight into the questions that I have here for you. And the first one is how long um, have you been in Toastmasters and what was the main goal you have had when you joined? Why did you join Toastmasters in the first place? I've been in Toastmaster for about two years now. I've joined uh, Toastmasters to improve my public speech and uh, get rid of or to improve the uh, anxiety, get rid of anxiety in public speech and uh, especially impromptu speech. When I called on to speak on the subject that I haven't thought about, then I get so nervous. I, my heart beating up like a 10,000 beat per minute and my hands are sweating and my stomach's turning and uh, I respond to the questions so on cognitive, so my cognitive function just to stop right there. And then I can go to sleep because uh, I thought about that moment. It sounds so stupid and I tossed and turn all night long. So ever since uh, I joined the Toastmasters, it helped me a little a bit and gradually, but I still have uh, butterflies in my heart. Um, you know, stomach's uh, turning and uh, my palms are sweating, but I'm getting better. Uh, that's the uh, main purpose. Prepare speech is uh, much better for me than the impromptu speech. So I am focusing on the impromptu speech and postmasters they have a table topics uh, that uh, I am not really good at it yet, but uh, I hope one day I can be better. That's quite a specific reason. Glad to hear that it is helping and you're seeing some improvements. Now let's talk about Zoom. First, what is your, what are your thoughts on Zoom experience, on us having meetings on Zoom? I like Zoom meetings because we have uh, seen many people joining our Nokaoi Toastmaster Club all from all over the world that I have been there, you know, hear from their opinions and also uh, hear uh, what they were doing uh, in their clubs. So it's very informative and uh, connectivity is uh, great. Uh, and also it's uh, good for me uh, that it saves the time that I have to drive uh, uh, to the physical location and it takes me about an hour round trip. And also as a woman, every time we go in public, we think about what to wear, right? And although uh, closet is filled with the clothes, but we always say, I have nothing to wear. So it saves me a lot of time because uh, Zoom meeting, you can only show neck up. So you don't have to worry about what to wear. Uh, and uh, you don't have to put up heavy makeup to look good because the camera does it. There is some limitations uh, of overall that uh, Zoom fatigue sets in because everybody in, in my work 
and my hobbies and everybody now we are on zoom sometimes you get confused uh, which date and which time which subject is uh, i am on for zoom and also that you can really receive audience feedback because we mute the, our microphone so that uh, you don't hear necessarily their you know, laughing, clapping, and those. And also it's hard for us to have a eye contact. And also it's a very uneasy to look at yourself as you speak. It's just a new thing. It's like uh, practicing your speech, You're looking at the mirror and uh, talking to yourself. In a way, it's good. In uh, another way, it's no good. And above all, I mean, uh, see that uh, we have to have uh, this kind of a setting for a while. And uh, it, it is uh, good that uh, we develop uh, the way that we can communicate. And I'm looking forward to have a hybrid uh, meeting. Uh, we can combine the in-person and Zoom. And because uh, those people who are not physically on island, Nokaoi Island, on Maui, Hawaii, they still love to join us uh, from all over the world. Uh, we would like to have that, their presence uh, via Zoom. And, and but I like to have an in-person meeting with the uh, people in Hawaii. And that's uh, my thought on the Zoom meetings. You answered a lot of questions in one question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The positives and the negatives. Now, mm -hmm. does, does us meeting on Zoom now somehow affect you practicing, you how you practice or, or how you prepare and, and what your goal was? I am working on the dynamic leadership style, uh, dynamic leadership pathway. And then my next speech is, should be using the PowerPoints or using the, um, the visual aids to make my presentation. And it is being June. Um, I wasn't sure how I could do that. So I was hesitant to make any further speech. But uh, yeah, that's the only thing, uh, but uh, you know, I changed my uh, presentation as a, like um, repeating the pathway that I have done in order for me to get some more experience uh, via Zoom. Uh, our church setting, we do have a hybrid uh, in the worship service. So, um, you know, I at least have a live audience. Uh, so I don't really look at the camera. I look at the audience so that uh, I was doing it. But yeah, so it, it changed um, a little bit of uh, uh, my uh, pursuing my goal. Uh, kind of, uh, I can say delayed or delayed a little bit. Mm -hmm. I see. In our club, you may feel already used to our club and feel more relaxed when giving speech, mm -hmm. but then new people come in. Mm -hmm. And if you give speech and there are a lot of new people, do you still feel mm -hmm. nervous or kind of as if you're giving a speech for the first time? Or do you still feel same relaxed doing it via Zoom? Because it's just some new faces. It's not like they are in person there. I am so comfortable with my congregation when I make a speech, but whenever audience change, uh, I get nervous, more nervous and more butterflies mm -hmm. in, in my stomach. And also it goes the same with the uh, Zoom uh, audience. When we see a lot of uh, guests in our club, then uh, it feels uh, very different than uh, our usual club. We know that uh, our members are very forgiving, members are very encouraging, and you don't know what, how they're going to react to your speech. And yeah, that makes me hesitant 
to make a new speech because uh, my speech is uh, a lot about my faith journey uh, and I don't want to uh, disturb too many people about it and, uh, and um, our people, the, the Monoka Oi Club knows that my background and they were encouraging me and to speak out of my heart. Uh, so that makes a little difference. Um, but the, since it's Zoom, I feel less nervous than the in-person audience, a totally different audience. Yes. <laughs> Completely understandable, yeah, that it would feel uh, different. That's basically my main questions as we conclude this interview here about Zoom. Is there anything else that you would like to say about Zoom experience? Something I maybe didn't ask, but you feel like is important to tell, to say? I can't think of anything you've covered very well. I just want to say thank you for using your gifts and talents uh, to promote uh, Nogaoi Club and online presence. And I totally appreciate you. And I just enjoyed this moment. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for participating in this. Yeah.